Hey guys, sorry for all the background noise. We have a storm going on and it's creating much, much, much high frequency stuff. It may be getting in, but anyway, today I want to tell you guys about something. I ordered this fly. I ordered this earlier this month and it wasn't supposed to be in until October 1st, but somehow it made it in really fast and I tried this and here it is this right here this is an FPV rig that can be placed on your X5C or your X5SC or if you're ingenious enough and have some ingenuity you could probably stick it on an X8C which is what I'm going to do next I'm going to uh, get some high grip velcro tape and I'm going to put it on there but let me show you this thing I've got it on my X5SC because I didn't want to crash my X8C. I just bought that and I'm still learning how to fly it. But it goes right down here. This this is the beast right here. This is this little camera. This is a 5.8 gigahertz real-time FPV camera. And it does it does record to an SD card. So I put one on board. This is a this is a really neat setup. I flew it on this because I didn't want to crash the other one my motor on this side is starting to go, it's starting to make that ratcheting noise when you roll it around that tells you that the brushes are dying. But it still flies good enough to carry the camera. So it had about a half a charge on the batteries. So I went ahead and put it on there. That's also self-contained. It doesn't draw power from your quad. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna make you uh, have to limit your flight time by much. It is a little heavier than the stock camera. Well, I know I got it around here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I say that. <laughs> Just give me one minute. I can tell you right now. Well, I can't find the stock camera, but anyway, it replaces the stock camera, which feels like it's maybe about 50 grams or a little lighter. <clears throat> that was about maybe close to 125 grams, <clears throat> so it's a little more for it to carry. But it lifts it nicely. It picked it up. I have to give it a little more throttle. Throttle's a little spongier, but that's okay, you know. Got it up in the air. I was flying it about head high all around in the yard. And man, what a great thing. When you go from flying line of sight, especially when you have vision like I do, flying line of sight was very difficult to learn and very it's still very difficult to do because when it gets out past a certain distance. I can't see it way up there, so I could never do distance flying with it. You know, not out to the advertised range, but with FPV, I am in the driver's seat. Let me show you this. That's the camera that it comes with. Let's see if it's not charging. Yeah. And it comes with this screen that you attach to the top of your remote. I'm going to adapt this to sit on top of an X8C remote, but it has a bracket has a bracket right up in here that bolts it onto that fake antenna thing and uh, it has a sunscreen now this is neat when you're not using it you can fold it down and when, when you need to use it you just unsnap it and pop it up it's ready to go this is another added plus a lot of these little cheap FPV rigs they have the monitors that go to blue when they go out this one does not go to blue when the thing gets far, when it gets to the edge of its range, you will get static in the picture, and you won't lose, you won't lose your connection. The uh, monitor runs independent of the batteries. It has its own rechargeable battery in here, and it comes with a charger. And the camera has its own batteries. Like I said, it won't suck the power off of your, uh, off of your rig. <coughs> but I took it up for the first time today. I took it up for the first time today, and man, that was a whole different world. I can actually fly it with precision, because I can see, up in a driver's seat, you can see what it's doing from the camera. You can see the pitch and the roll and the rise and fall, and uh, you know what to do with the throttle. And I was having a blast, and then the battery ran out on, on my uh, quad, but I was, I was having a blast flight a little smoother 
it's a little bit smoother because uh, when you're flying it in the driver's seat, you want to hold it kind of. Your natural tendency is to hold it smooth so you can kind of do what you're doing, you know, drive it. So it's moving more in a natural form than when you're doing it line of sight. It's a you know, when you're flying it, the, the tilts are smoother and the pitches are smoother and the rolls are smoother and whatnot, you know. So I would say to anybody out there, this thing, where did I put that box? <laughs> Here it is. This is what it is. You can find this. You can find this on GearBest. You can find it on Amazon.com, but good luck getting second day shipping. <laughs> they send it usually USPS. This came straight from China. It was shipped straight from China. And uh, about 50 bucks. I think that's what I paid for it. The best 50 bucks I ever spent as an add on to my equipment. It comes with, you saw that little antenna on top, it has a, uh, in fact you can see it in here, here's on the back, it has a flat panel antenna, very useful for range if you point it the right way, very useful. You could probably get away because 5.6 is rough, roughly, roughly, let's see, is it 5.6 or 5, well it's 5.8, okay, 5.8 is two times the frequency of 2.4 gigs, so you could probably get away with it if you didn't want such precise aiming. You could probably get away with putting a uh, high gain 2.4 gig antenna on it, and uh, it should work. Actually, it'll take you from a quarter wave to a half wave uh, as far as the size of the antenna goes and the frequency you're using it for. But, uh, ah, air blowing around. Got a fan going over there. It's an awesome starter rig. Now here's the thing a lot of people don't know about these is that this is Boscam compatible. It's an NTSC signal and you can set it has this is nice. You can set the channels. A lot of other FPV rigs you can't set the channel between the monitor and everything. It's preset, especially the ones from Hobby King. But this you can set it to one of seven channels. I think it's seven possible channels. So great great piece of equipment it's raining outside right now otherwise if it, if it wasn't I'd be teaching myself to fly with it the first flight went flawlessly um, I had to switch back to line of sight to land it because I'm still not used to the ground rush or the lack of ground what happens when you fly by camera is when you start coming down out of the sky it doesn't really look like the ground is moving much at all up toward you you only see that at the last instant. And it's, that's a phenomenon called ground rush. And you have to get used to that uh, when you're landing and taking off with these things, or anything that flies by camera, or even if you fly a plane. And uh, I didn't want to bust my quad up due to ground rush. I haven't, I haven't uh, learned yet. Like I said, I've only done one flight. But the flight I did was awesome. I really liked it. It was very short because my battery wasn't fully up. It had been sitting a while. But I've got it fully charged now. I'll be taking it up soon. As soon as this rain clears and we get a little dry out there, I'll be going back up. And when I've mastered it on the little X5, then I'll probably start pulling it up on the X8. What I'm going to do, this is the other thing. Let me see if I can find that. What they do, yeah, here it is. They give you a bunch of brackets for this thing to allow you to adapt to a uh, X5C or an X5SC. This is the X5C bracket, this right here. This basically is the mounting plate for the original camera, how it would mount. <clears throat> There's a hook in the front of the old X5C uh, that this would go up in, and two bolts would go up in there. The camera just pops on. It has two sets of prongs that go into these little straps, and that's how it pops on. So what I'm going to do, since I don't have an X5C, I'm going to take this little hook off. I'm going to file it off, and I'm going to file down these bolts, these uh, grommets, so that it's flat. And I'm going to put a piece of high bond Velcro tape on there. And then on the bottom of the aircraft, I'm going to put a piece of high bond Velcro so that I can just pop it on there when I want to use it. 
because I can tell you right now the original X8C camera is a piece of garbage and I'm never gonna put it back on there ever again this machine it, the whole purpose of the X8C the reason I bought it was let's see if I can get it uh, there it is Ooh, we got thunder and lightning I'm gonna have to shut down soon I got this rig specifically to carry an FPV camera I wanted something big that could carry that and uh, give me a decent amount of flight time and considering that the X8C camera, let me put that back up there the X8C camera is just an X5C camera that's been re-encapsulated in a bigger shell which made it heavier when I pull that off there and put that little 120 gram camera on there it's gonna carry the hell out of that thing so I'm looking at flight times well in excess of, of seven to ten minutes maybe I'll have to watch but now we've got a big storm so I'm gonna have to let y'all go I'll put some flight video on as soon as the, the storm clears I'll finish this up so stay tuned and have a good one Well, there you have it. That's pretty much it. The first flight that was ever made with the FPV camera. <coughs> <coughs> it still jerks around a little bit, but that's because I'm still learning how to control the craft that way. But it is a whole different world of flying. Uh, getting too close to things is one of the things. You saw I almost hit that fence. But, uh... Hmm, that was Zach now. But, uh, that's, that's pretty much that. It flies great. I have to use a little more throttle to keep it in the air, but you can see the quality of the video it takes. You could probably get away with using a fisheye lens on it if you wanted to. I prefer normal angle. A lot of people will go, oh no, you want wide angle. But I like normal angle lenses because you can see the ground coming up to meet you. The ground rush is there, and movement is more natural to your real eye, you know. You just have to exercise a little bit more spatial orientation, you know. That's about it, really. 
So, y'all have a good one, and uh, thanks for watching.